get ready for the longest hour on American television. Because you asked for it from around the corner, from around the nation, from around the world. Yes, it's Worldwide Magazine. Winner of hundreds and hundreds of many awards. And seen in dozens and dozens of foreign countries via satellite. Hi, this is PEP saying that we got a great show today, so don't go away. Don't touch that dial. You could be making the biggest mistake of your life. And of course, the worldwide regulars are here today. Miss Kathy. Mike Cosgrove. Big Nettie from the original restaurant. Marty's brother Mark. Uncle Nunzio. Dump Truck Dave Perry. Watt Davis and his magic feet. Hung Way Low. Bambi. Tim Elvis. Gail Pikachinski. Marty. Big Daddy. The Hoosier Mooners. And Matt and Lee. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another edition of Worldwide Magazine. Ah, it sure is a drag, just being at home all by myself. I wish I, wish I knew some nice girls. You know, I have this popular TV show, you figure, you know, I'd meet somebody or something. I don't understand it. I just don't understand. I wish, wish I could think of something to do to, you know, meet some girls. Wait a second. Yeah. I got an idea. Yeah. The yeah. Riverfront Times. They got that, uh, that eligible section. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. That's it. Looking for someone special. Look no farther. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll put an ad in the uh, eligible section. It'll be a real good ad, too. What a day this has been What a rare mood I'm in Why it's almost like being in love There's a smile on my face For the whole human race Why it's almost like being in love excited. I just got a letter from the Riverfront Times. I, I was really lonely and I was sad and I decided to write into the eligibles and I got this really, really, really great letter and I'm really excited about it. This guy sounds perfect for me. Absolutely wonderful. Really? Oh yeah, I'm going to go meet him right now and I am so excited. I can't wait. Well, goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later, Pete. If you're going to be riding buses, especially if you're going to be taking a date on a bus, please remember, when you board the bus, pay your fare, sit down, and shut up. Which one of you two guys is Mark? Huh? I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Are you the guy that wrote me this wonderful letter? Yes, I did. Miss Kathy, I'm glad to meet you. 
Well, it's nice to meet you, Miss Kathy. I got a wonderful date plan for you. We're going to Grandpa's. On the bus? Yes, ma'am, on the bus. Oh, my favorite. Here comes a bus right now. Oh, boy. Oh, give me a little kiss. Will you have? What are you going to miss? Will you have? Gosh, oh, gee. Why do you refuse? You know, I can't see what you've got to lose. Ah, oh, give me a little squeeze, will you? Why do you want to make me blue? You know, I wouldn't say a word if I were asking for the moon. What's a little kiss between a fella and his girl, huh? Give me a little kiss, will you? And I'll give it right back to you. And then she says... Mark, this is really an unusual place to take somebody on a first date. Yes, it is. I met my first wife here. Oh. I'd like to buy something for you now that we're here. Okay. With love. With love. Oh, yes, this is my favorite. How'd I guess? After I read the report in that magazine about, uh, they tested 60 shampoos and Perk came out on top. So I want to buy it now and see if I agree with what their ratings say. It lathers up, it's easier to comb out of your hair. Well, a stupid statement. No, I mean, it, it lathers in the hair real easy. And it rinses out easily. And it leaves the hair easier to comb. I think I hear a report of a bus breakdown at the Hampton Loop. I'm afraid we're going to have to cut our date short. Oh, I was having such a good time. Well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Oh, gosh. One of those things. Goodbye, Miss Kathy. One of those crazy flings. One of those bells that now and then rings. One of those things. It was just one of those nights. One of those fabulous flights. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love. There's a smile on my face for the whole human race. Why it's almost like being in love. Hi, this is Tim Azorlock, and what I look for in dates is a nice blonde-haired girl, really don't got no sense, and likes these things right here, really useful. Keep that in mind. This is my boy, JR. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're carrying one of those things around? How old are you? I'm 15, gonna be 16. You gotta Wait a second, you, you, you carry one of those things around? Of course, you gotta have protection these uh, days. Show me that again. You don't really have one of those, do you? Let me see. Yes. Hey, I mean, I mean, you gotta have protection these days, cause it's deadly out there. Yeah, that's right. I didn't need one of those till I was 21. Yeah, but Pete, you gotta realize this ain't the 30s. This is the 80s. Hi. Well, we know you must be married, cause you have a kid. You probably are married. And we're, we're doing a, a little survey about, you know, women and what they're looking for in, in their man. What kind of qualities are you looking for in a man? One that doesn't drink. That doesn't get violent when he's drinking. Oh, yeah. Is that is that? That's not your husband. Yes, it is. It is. Him and I just recently separated because he got very violent. I had to have a restraining order put against him. Oh, how many kids you got? Four. Oh my God! So you're four. You're a lady by yourself with four kids. You got like, a lot of work to do. Yeah. Well, you know the thing about splitting up with somebody. I guess 
The only thing that really makes things right is just the passage of time. Now, when you uh, meet a girl, or, or if you're looking for a girl, what kind of qualities are you looking for? I like to, uh, I like for a woman to have a little pizzazz, a little personality, a little. Uh, naturally, she has to have some degree of looks, but if she didn't have to, if she didn't have looks, if she has a good personality, that will uh, offset the uh, look situation. Are you looking for a submissive woman? I am looking for a woman to be as submissive as she could be aggressive or assertive, I should say. Well, how about, let's say, behind closed doors, just like in a fantasy situation uh, of two consenting adults. Are you interested in any kind of real special type of situation to develop, or do you have certain needs that need to be fulfilled? Yes. Want to tell us about it? Not yet. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we should get to know each other better first. <laughs> So, Marty, what are you looking for in a woman? I'm looking for a woman that's got a good body and likes to go to bed. Yeah, what else? And do all kinds of fun stuff. And go like, what? like what kind of fun stuff? Oh, man, doing all, all the love life. The, uh, how often do you like to see her? Oh, every time I get a chance. Well, uh... That's more than once a week. Do you like, are you, do you care if she's degreed? If she's a degreed person, if she has a college degree, does that matter to you? No, I don't make any difference. And how about, do you want her weight to be uh, uh, proportionate to her height? Depending on who it is, it don't make any difference. Well, do you want her to be financial, financially and emotionally secure? Yeah, plenty of that. Plenty of... Plenty of financially secure devil. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love. I wait, say, B. Hey, what Davis? How's everything? Hey, Davis, it's great to see you, Watt. It's nice to see you. Where are you going? Well, I'm going in the restaurant and uh, do a little dinner. Do, do a dinner. You gonna go have dinner at the original restaurant? Yes, I well, am. Well, you know it's the best restaurant in town. Yes, that's right, and I'm in love. Just fell in love, and You're in love? I am in love. Well, that's great. Who with? Who's the lucky girl? Nettie. Big Nettie, are you original? Yes, well, sir. Well, she's a, she's a lovely lady. Yes, she is. She's wonderful. And, and every time I look at her, my heart just pounds and pounds. Well, you look a little different, Wyatt. I just can't figure it out. There's something different about you. You, didn't, you haven't been dying your hair, have you? Well, uh, Pete, I don't know what to say about that. I, I think the only person that uh, know about that is the hairdresser. Only a hairdresser knows for sure? Knows for sure, right. I know we get that out. Well, okay. Pete, I'm in a hurry. You know, I'm okay. gonna get in here and cast my eyes upon okay, the Okay, well, I'll one. see you, Juan. I gotta go. Uh, I'm waiting for a bus. Okay, well, see you around. Okay, goodbye. I'll see, see ya. If I didn't care More than words can say If I didn't care Would I feel this way If this isn't love What makes my head go round and round while my heart stands still? If I didn't care, would it be the same? Would my every prayer begin and end with just your name? Sure that this is love beyond compare. 
pen Would all this be true If I didn't care for you If I didn't care Honey child, more than words can say If I didn't care Would I feel this way? Darling, if this isn't love Then why do I thrill so much? And what is it that makes my head go round and round while my heart just stands still so much if i didn't care would it be the same would my every prayer begin and end with just your name Would all this be true if I didn't care for you? I would swear I was falling. I could swear I was falling. It's all. Most you sent me a letter here from the uh, Front Times, right? Classified, something like that. Eligibles? That's right. Yeah, hi. My name is uh, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, nice to, nice to talk to you. What do I do? Uh, well, I'm in the, uh, I'm, a, I'm an executive in the uh, transportation business. That's right. Yeah, I do like to take long walks in the forest and, uh, yeah, romantic evenings by the fireplace, all that stuff, right? Of course. Oh, yeah, I'm degreed. Oh, yeah. Right. And my weight is uh, proportional to my height, right? And I am uh, emotionally and financially secure, which is very important, I know. That's right. What? How's my posture? Oh, it's okay, I guess. I never really thought about it. Almost like being in love. Oh, oh uh, that's real important to you. I guess so. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, nice talking to you. Goodbye. What advice do you have for our audience about dating and meeting girls? Well, uh, there are a few secrets that I could divulge. Uh, one of them is the bulge. Uh, for you guys out there that are packing the little jalapeno, uh, I've been told that a turkey neck can go a long way in those discotheques. Okay? Uh, the girls, you know, I think they could they could do a lot towards uh, either doing a little more makeup over the mustaches or just going with the electrolysis. So, you know, you want to be appealing. Uh, you want to stay out of certain places, I suppose. Uh, those uh, those cheesy places on the south side, the uh, various clubs down there. Uh, I don't know, I'd stay out of those places unless you are into the inbred scene. Uh, in general, you've got to, uh, you've got to look good. Oh, hi there. How you doing? How you doing? Hi. You must, you must be Kitty. Kitty Littlewood. I am. I yeah. am Kitty. How you doing? Nice yeah, to I'm uh, meet you. Frank, Frank Jameson. How you doing, yeah, Frank? I'm, uh, I'm the guy supposed to meet you here, you know, with the head and the Frank. eligible section. Yeah. So it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, you look just the way I thought you'd look on the phone. Yeah, we have Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, no, not another cigarette smoker in the world. You don't mind if I uh, smoke, do you? Please, just for one night, can we put the cigarettes away? I mean, after all, think about yourself. Your clothes smell, your teeth turn yellow, your hair smells. Can't we put the cigarettes away for one night? How about another habit? Let me tell you something. Do you think that these things are my master? Ha! I can stop and put these things away. Stop and stop smoking anytime. Look. See, I can stop anytime. It's no problem. No problem at all. Let me just say one other thing. That as far as cigarette smoking goes, before you make a judgment, I mean, wait till all the facts are in, okay? And I'm not controlling the cigarettes at all. I'm looking for that one man out there that's going to do me right. Here I am, alone, four children, no husband, a very small income. So, uh, what do you like to do for fun, anyway? Well, what I like to do, I like the long, sensitive walks in the park. I like good conversation with a man, yeah. I like the box. I like to go down to Fox and see a good program that's there. Gourmet dining. I like gourmet dining in the city. Travel. I like to travel all over. I like to go everywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bowling, though. Bowling's my favorite. I like to bowl. Let's go down to Redbird and bowl. All night long, I like to bowl. Bingo's fun, too. We have to play bingo on a Sunday. But most of all, I like to Quiet evenings at home in front of the fireplace. With four kids? Excuse me for asking, uh, what happened to you? You only have one life. Well, I don't think you know me well enough to ask me a personal question like that. <laughs> oh, you know, Frank, that's my favorite song. You think maybe we could do some dancing to it? Just remember one thing, your left hand is like a stranger to you. <laughs> Peter, I can't believe this country, the women, they stink so much, I can't believe it. Last night, I went to this club to pick up a woman, you know, I met this one girl, very beautiful. So I say, well, let's, let's go someplace, you know, she says, okay, I say, okay, well, let's go. So we went over to a place, I get in bed. And now she takes off her wig, she takes out her teeth, she takes off her makeup. One minute, Gina Laura Brigida. Next minute, Mobs Maybelline. Mingia, the women here, I can't believe it, they stink. What a day this has been, what a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love. See, Pete, you wonder why nobody likes you. It's because you're such a geek. Where do you go to meet girls? Where do you go to meet girls? Yeah, I'm having trouble meeting them. Where do you go to meet them? You go to 64 West. You go to PT. Wait, wait, wait. You go to 64 West? Yeah, we go to PT. Wait a second. Don't you have to be... Uh fashionably attired to go to 64 West? No, I just slide out of the front door, man. See, I dress, 
I just slide right out of the front door. Nobody knows I come in there until they see me as I am. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm gonna ask you something. Can I ask you something? Please get the Mr. Microphone away. I'm sorry? Please get the Mr. Microphone away. Mr. Microphone? Uh huh. Do you, you work here? How are you doing? Can I ask you something? No. Yeah. I'm sorry? Uh, you can, I'll tell you one thing. There's a lot of beautiful people here. It's a beautiful place. There's a lot of beautiful people here. I can tell. Filled with beautiful people. Did you ever hear the story about the fairy tale about the emperor's clothes? Yeah, well, read it again. Stay tuned for the second half of Worldwide Magazine. And don't forget our post office box. It's Worldwide Magazine, P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. There it is. P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. We'd love to hear from you. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why it's almost like being in love I want to be loved by you Just you and nobody else but you I want to be loved by you Alone Boo boo benu I want to be kissed by you Just you I wanna be loved by you, just you, and nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you, alone. Boop boop benu. I wanna be loved by you, just you, and nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you, alone. Is it easy to pick up girls around this area? I don't know because I'm not around from here. Well, I'm interested in trying to find uh, like a date, you know, for the. This is your new store, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you have like uh, single ladies uh, around here at your store that could uh, maybe help a guy out when he's. When he's... What, what do you sell here? You got cards, gifts, candies, balloons? 
No girls, huh? You don't, you know why you don't sell girls here, do you? I might be interested in buying one. You are gorgeous. Thank you. I want to go out with you. <laughs> Can we do this? I don't think so. Pete, it's a woman. It's a woman, Pete. It's a woman, Pete. Look at her. It's a woman, Pete. I gotta have her. Can I have you? Dump truck's gotta have you. Dump truck's gotta have you. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I talk to you for a minute? You don't want to talk? This is dump truck. I mean, uh, all, all girls want to talk to dump truck. All, all girls want to talk to dump truck. You're not interested? I love women. And, and the people in South St. Louis are interested in learning about relationships with men and women. And you are gorgeous. You want to go out with me sometime? It's a whole truck load of girls. Where they at? Where they at? Where the truck go? Where the truck go? Pete, there's a whole truck full of girls. Come on back here. Come on back here. Come on back here. Look, there's two of them right here. You guys got to go out with me. Come on. We need all the girls. Pete, this is the babes of South St. Louis, my God. We need girls, Pete. Big, healthy, nasty women. <laughs> I love you, baby. Love you, too. Get her face, Pete. She's beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Listen, I want to go out with you because you're just about pretty enough that you can go out with me. What do you think about that? I'm you should be. You should be. I mean, uh, there's no charge now. I charge a lot for people to go out with me, but there's no charge because you're so beautiful. Oh, Who's this guy over here? My boyfriend. Is that just your driver? No, my okay. chauffeur's off today. Oh well, okay, but I want to go out with you, and I, we got to do it right now. Uh, we have to do it right now. Sorry. Uh, oh come on. Oh, you're so gorgeous. You gotta do this. You got it, dog. Come on. Where you going? Wait a minute. Where you going? Wait a minute. You gotta go out. Come on. I try hard, I try very hard. For some reason they just don't like me and I don't understand it. Look, will you please go out with me? I've been looking all day and I can't find no girls to go out with me. And I need it, man. Will you girls please go out with me? Come on, what do you please? Oh, oh, come on, you are so gorgeous. You've got to do this for me, come on. Come on, you've got to do this. Oh, come on, you've got to go out with me. Come on, come back here, please. Come on, please. Rockin' all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Just rockin' all the time. Elvis? The Elvis. The Elvis? I'm the one you've been reading about in the National Enquirer. The Elvis? All over. That's, you talking right. to me, Kenny Littlewood? That's right. That's right. I, I came back from the dead. But Elvis? I was real lonely. You're back from the dead? Real lonely. And I put an ad in that, uh, what's that paper there? The Riverfront Times? Yeah, the Riverfront Times. Well, I did too. Well, that's, that's Can we maybe like... just spend a night together or take a quiet, long, sensitive walk in the park? Or spend a night at the Fox? Maybe dine at the finest restaurants in the city? Yes, we could do all that. But most of all, Elvis, my favorite is a quiet night in front of the fireplace. Do you think you could do that for me, Elvis? Well, I Do you think, think we could share that time together? I think so. I, I don't think that's too much to ask. Oh, Elvis, not for me, little Kenny Littlewood. Hey, what's a king for, but not to serve his subjects, you know? Crystal, but you know, you were supposed to be here several hours ago. I've been waiting here forever. Well, you know, I just bought this brand new shade of nail polish, and it just took three hours 
house to dry. And I just couldn't leave the house with wet nail polish because I might catch cold. Well, uh, it's really nice meeting you, Crystal. Uh, let's see if I remember. What did you say you like to do in the, in the Riverfront Times, Ed? I just love to be with the guy that I love next to a fireplace and, um, you know, to share times together and, you know. Do you like long walks in the woods? Yes, long, long walks in the woods and, um. What's your policy about, like, height and weight? Just somebody kind of average, you know, medium, you know, kind of, you know. Well, it said in your head you like people that were emotionally and financially secure. Well, yes, I, I like men that are emotionally and, you know, especially financially stable and, you know, degreed and weight apportioned to heights. Is that how it goes? Well, why did you want to meet at the shopping center, Crystal? Where else can you find everything? It's my favorite place to come and there's people are so nice to you. I mean, you can just shop for days and you don't have to have any cash. You know, someday, I think when I die, I'd actually like to have my ashes spread here. That's how much I love the mall. I love the mall. It's the place for me. I love the mall. Well, let's go. You got, I got the right address to send all those things to? Sure. That's, that's the address. Well, it's an awful lot of stuff to buy somebody I just met just a few minutes ago. I know, but I really, really, really like you. You're such a good friend. You've been so nice. Now I have to go home. I have to pluck my eyebrows. Well, how about a little kiss? I'm really sorry, Pete. I just... I've got a hangnail. And besides that, my husband's here to pick me up. Yeah, your husband? See ya. I told you, Pete, your left hand was like a stranger. When are you going to listen to me? When are you going to start listening to me? Double dating? Yeah. With uh, Dennis Bullock? Yeah, I sure did, man. Well, what did you used to like to do on a date? Well, 
Well, first of all, you get your woman, right? And number one, some device that to make sure that they ain't gonna leave. You first, you gotta tie tie them down. You change, put these hug handcuffs on, and there ain't no way they can leave. And then, and then next thing you do, you use this tape and bond them all over. Tape their mouth shut, and whatever. Bond and gag them. And then, then, and then I get my little whip out of here, and then I start doing my thing, man. See this stay here? I start doing my thing, then I start, I do what, like- the girls like this? Oh, man, they love it. Oh, they love it. It's all kinds, all kinds of fashionable. It's real hip, right? Yeah, hey, it's real, yeah, it's real hip. Uh, did Dennis teach you this stuff? Yeah, he showed me how to use all this stuff, so, so when I go out and do my own thing, hey, you know, this is the, this is going 1989 into 1990 into the 90s. So, hey, this is the fashionable dating scene now. So, Matt, Matt. Come down next president, you do come here, come here. Matt, 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 Matt. Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. What, what's the best way to meet girls? Uh. What's the best way to meet girls? Uh. What, what's the best way to meet girls? He said, how the best way to get some girls? Oh, I don't know. Money, 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 money. Cash, 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 cash. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Ruth, here we are, our 10th wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? Yeah. 10 years. I remember the night we met. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember it. We had such a nice time. Yeah. You took me to this real fancy restaurant. We had a real nice dinner. Restaurant? Stay. What are you talking about? We didn't go to any restaurant. Yes, we did. You took we went out to McDonald's and got a couple burgers. What are you talking about? Oh, a restaurant? you're mistaken. That was another time. I ain't going to I ain't going to What? I ain't going to I ain't going to Oh, he wants to get a snack. He's going in. I ain't going to get a snack. You know, that's a funny thing about Hung Way Low. Every time I let the dogs in, he gets hungry. You ever notice that? Listen, what is that noise out there? Noise? Yeah. Anybody out there? Yeah. What is it? I got your water, Mike. Well, let me have it. <laughs> oh, no. 
Here's your water. Are you crazy? I'm going to water with you. Uh, yeah, you like to drown me. Tell him about it. Are you out of your mind? i got to find a woman. I need a woman. i got to have a woman. Oh, you poor thing. You look so pitiful. I'm sorry. I threw that water on you. But you drove me to the point of no return. Look at you, you poor thing. Well, Ruth, you know something? What? You're vicious. You're vindictive. But you know what? what? Baby, you're still the greatest. Well, this is it. I went through all those ads, met all those girls, and this is the last letter. But it sounds like a pretty good one. I sure hope I meet a nice girl. Some kind of girl that, you know, would really like me and just be happy to see me at night. That's all I'm asking for. Well, here she comes now. She looks pretty. Yeah. <laughs> 
come to the end of a perfect day. And you sit alone with your thought. While the chimes ring out with a carol gay for the joy that the day has brought. Do you think what the end of a perfect day can mean to a tired heart? What it can mean when the sun goes down with a flaming ray? And dear friends, to part. Well, this is the end of a perfect day. of a journey to But it leaves a thought that is big and strong with a wish that is kind and true. I thought I got rid of you two years ago and now you probably tricked me. Anything just For to memory. see me. Pete! Memory has painted this perfect day with colors that never fade. And we find at the end of a perfect day the soul of a friend. we have made.
Hi, this is PEP. I'd like to tell you about an exciting feature coming up very soon on Worldwide Magazine. It's our own eligible section. That's right, here's our post office box. If you'd like to meet somebody from the opposite sex, send us a letter. We will keep it confidential and read it over the air. If you get a response, we'll send it back to you, free of charge. We're gonna have some fun, and maybe you'll meet that guy or girl of your dreams, like I did tonight. So here's our post office box, 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. We're on the level, we're not kidding around. Send us a letter, and in a few weeks, we'll read it on the air, give you a code number. If you get a response, we'll forward it back to you, and maybe the man or woman of your dreams will come into your life, bringing you eternal happiness. So get those pencils out, write that post office box down, write us a letter, tell us who you want to meet or what you like. It could be weird or serious or whatever you want, and we'll read it on the air. And that is P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. Hey, we had almost the whole cast on here tonight. Really great. This is P.E.P. saying thanks to all the people that were silly enough to be on our program tonight. And to all you people out there that were silly enough to watch it, we'll see you later. Goodbye.